Hey, hey, everybody. Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. If you're watching this in real time, I am excited to be with you for day one of our lettering and devotions. I hope you um, are off to a good start with Valentine's. We um, we woke up this morning and surprised the kids with their cute little, uh, you know, baskets of something. And uh, my sweet daughter, Chloe, I was not, she's 14, and I was not really expecting her to to have anything for us. But um, I called upstairs and said, come on downstairs, y'all. And, um, and she came downstairs and had with her some her little cards she made. She she made one for me, my husband, my son, and the dog. <laughs> so she had done these handmade uh, Valentines, and she had very cute lettering too, I must say. And so it was a good way to start off the morning. And then my dad called. My parents live here in town. And my dad called. This earring is really bothering me. It's not showing the right side. Um, but my dad called, and uh, we did... Uh, we did uh, breakfast this morning, so that was another a fun little something something. So, um, and so now here we are about to get started with our lettering and devotions book. So, if you are a lettering club member now, then you have this physical copy. Everybody else, if you're not a lettering club member, you can still get the downloadable version of this. Uh, we put the link in the um in the description here. Uh, if you, for some reason, can't see that link, another way to get this book before we dive in is to text the word me. I'll just do that. Don't say me and then a million other things because it doesn't read. The system doesn't read it. Um, don't say me and put quotation marks around it. Just say me. Okay. Just say that. Okay. And then the, it will automatically, if you're texting it to this number, one 249 18, 18, it will send you uh, the link to go ahead and um, get the ball rolling. So again, you can do this through text or we provided the link on this um, on this post as well, wherever you're watching this from. So that's how you can get your own copy. If you don't have it yet, it's no big deal. Uh, these are We're going to be going live every day um, this week at 10 o'clock. Next week, we're going to continue this. It will be pre-recorded though. I'll be out of town next week, um, so it'll be pre-recorded. So go ahead, get your stuff. You can always come back and watch the replay. So let me explain just a little bit. Um, now I see, oh, never mind. <laughs> Kaylee, you just wrote that in there. I saw somebody write text me to one through three. I'm like, no, 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 that's not where you texted at. <laughs> but that was Kaylee uh, uh, letting you know what the number is. Um, the, the How this booklet all came about was for a couple of years, we have been providing our traceables. So y'all know we have our lettering club. We like to teach hand lettering. And one of an easy way to get started with hand lettering is to have something to trace for that muscle memory for you to be kind of um, feeling what it feels like for your hand to move in a certain way. And so we've been providing these traceables. And so we've done that for two years. We've done like the word of the year traceables. Well, this year we we're getting ready to do our annual traceable bundle that we offer. And I just wanted it to be just a little something more, um, uh, not just a traceable, but a traceable where you could also have room to practice, whether that's over here, over here, um, a traceable where you could also have room to journal a traceable that's not just your word of the year, but that aligns with scripture. Um, because our whole, the whatever letter, lettering club, that is a faith space. It's founded on scripture. It's um, from Philippians 4, 8 that says, think on these things, whatever is true, whatever is pure, all, you know, all the whatevers. And so we thought this was just a kind of a nice, uh, a nice way to tie in all the things that, um, that we kind of stand for, all the, the things that are kind of in our club. So we've got scripture scripture. We've got devotion. We've got hand lettering. We've got place to practice in this. Um, and you've got place just if you don't want to do, if this is your practice, if you're like me, I like times like to journal out my prayers. You can use this just to simply do that. Okay. So I've kind of talked a lot about it. That's what this is. 20 pages. If you don't have the, the printed version, you can um, print it out. Uh, I, if I were you, I'd just send it to a local co um, copy place to do it because sometimes the gray scale on this with the color and the black and white, some printers don't read it well, or you might just have to change your setting to a black and white setting. Okay. So if you, if you can't get it to go, just send it to a, um, a local, a local printer. Hey, hey, I see lots of y'all hopping on this morning. Hey, Miss Pam and Dellen. And there's some people, I can't always see everybody's name. Cindy is on here this morning. So I'm glad y'all are here. So, all right, let's get going with day one. So 
to me, in my opinion, for this size of letters, I think the Crayola markers, or if you have Tombow markers, those are going to be the best for this big lettering. Now, if you're in the lettering club, y'all know we sent y'all some pens too. These are a little bit smaller. These are very good for, um, for printing. I mean, I'm sorry for practicing, but they're a little bit smaller than the, the thickness of these letters. That's why I think, um, Crayola washable markers or Tombow markers would be good for this larger, um, larger print. Uh, Heather says my printer printed out the first page all black. That's weird. The first page as in like the cover page. Yeah. So that, that's why I say send it to the local printer, but she says the rest was good. So that's good. The rest is the important part, but, um, but that's why <laughs> I always have tech issues like that. So we always just get the file, send it over, then I go and pick it up. All right. So these are my current favorite Crayola packages. Um, they're very, they're kind of similar. So this one is just the bright colors. It's the ultra clean. And this one is the bold and bright. And when I say similar, there's about five of the same colors that both of these share. But then they both have something that's a little bit unique to it. So I'm going to, um, they both have the lime and I love the lime. So I'm going to pull out this uh, electric lime. And they both have, I think they both have the lemon yellow, um, which is the laser lemon. But this one, the Ultra Clean over here, uh, it has this really cool hot magenta. Okay, so this one does not have that. But now this one has some other ones that I love. So that's why I think just go ahead and buy both of them. In. You'll have doubles of some, but you'll have the best of both worlds. So I'm going to pull those out because y'all know I just love these colors. And we're just going to get started. First, I'm going to read the devotion. I'm going to talk about it for a little bit. We're going to do letter this, and then I'll show you um, some other options for practice. All right, so our scripture verse for today is Isaiah 41, 10. It says, fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. That's the scripture. And then there's just the little devotion that I wrote is God is with you. He is with you. He is with you. Goodness, how I need to be reminded of this often. When I tuck my son in bed and he feels a little bit afraid, this is a simple truth that I try to remind him of. I say, you know, God's right here with you. He is protecting you and he never, ever leaves you. Even when mommy and daddy might not be in sight, God is always right there. That simple truth can sometimes be hard for a young child to see. And also a hard one for us to remember. We often want to surround ourselves with other people. That gives us that gives us a level of comfort. With other things, with accomplishments. Those things sometimes is what is giving us that feeling of feeling safe and secure. But what truly gives us the strength and security that we need and that will not leave us <laughs> and that we need and that we long for is God. He never leaves our side. Let's remember that truth as we go throughout our day. You've got the creator of the universe right here with you. Lean on that today. And that is a reminder that many of us know, like it's the big picture now. You know how sometimes we have this big overall, what we believe about, you know, things, but then we don't always bring it right down to us. You know, we, we know that God is with us, <clears throat> but sometimes we need to feel him right there with us. And I just want to be here to say, especially on this Valentine's day, um, because I know there are some of you who, um, are missing your Valentine. Um, I know that we have lost a lot of people we love, um, in this past year. And I know that sometimes this day is as fun as it can be. And as much as I love seeing the happy joy on kids' faces, I know in some areas it can be tough too. Um, and so whatever that, if, if you are in any sort of, you know, that state of just missing and, and, and loneliness, just be reminded that God is with you. He is not just some far off God that doesn't care about your personal, um, your personal needs. He is, he is a personal God. He is a real God and he is right here with you. Um, and I hope you just feel him just hugging you today, um, giving you the strength that you need helping you with what you need. And it says, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You don't have to do it in your strength alone. Lean on him this morning. 
And then we are going to letter God is with you um, so that this is just a truth that is going to stick in our head a little bit more. OK, so here we go. Um, I, I'm going to use my pink because it's Valentine's Day and we need to remember. Uh, all right, let's see. Here we go. We don't even remember anything. I don't know what I was about to say. All right. So here we go. This is how you use this. You just trace. Now, with the this type of marker, let me do this in case anybody wants this. I can do a thin line and then like on the down strokes, I can make it a little bit fatter based on how I hold it. That's a little more of an advanced technique, but you can give it a try. So like, again, I'm kind of almost holding it like a little bit more sideways to make the broad tip and a little bit more up to make the skinny tip. So we go here. Now, if that feels really awkward to you, then don't do it like that. I'm going to show you how to do it down here. Uh, let's see. Okay, so on that, I did thick and thin and thick. But that's a little bit, It's like I said, it's a little bit more tricky to do that. So if you don't want to worry about doing the thick, the thin, the thick, then start off just doing it just regular. So we're just tracing this. Then come back and thicken those down strokes. Okay, y'all seen me do this a bazillion times if you've been watching. So here we go. Uh, the down strokes is literally what you go down on. I'm sorry, this phone is in the way. I tried to get it higher today, but we were running out of time and I was late and I was like, ah, we just gotta go hit the live button. All right, so here we go. I'm going over and down. Now this is going up, so I'm not doing anything, but this is going down, so I'm going to thicken it. So I'll bring that up so that you can see it. And then I'm going to color that in. And that is what is going to make it have that faux calligraphy. So up here, here, I, I actually held my pen different. And that's what got the thick, the thin lines and the thick lines. But here, I didn't hold my pen any different. I just thickened those down strokes. So I'm just thickening all the areas that are down. I'm not thickening every single line, unless you just wanted these to be super duper thick. Also, don't feel like you have to cover up every gray part. It's so light gray. If, you, if some of it is peeking behind, just let it peek behind, okay? It'll almost look like a shadow. Don't feel like you've got to, to cover it all. That's going to make it look kind of messy. All right, so for this Y, let me kind of talk you through this. This is a fun way to do Ys. It's just going to be a loop. And then I come and woo, okay, that's just a, you can do that with G's also, different things that kind of have those descenders. There's a lot of, there's a few different ways I like to play with the descenders you'll see over these 20 days. Um, but that's one way is, you know, it's just looping it around and popping it back up. For this O, it's going to look a little different than a regular. It's going to go down, up, and over. So even if it doesn't touch, it's okay. It's just a different style. And then our you. So I simply traced it. <clears throat> then I'll come back, thicken those down strokes. Remember, if you are, if you're just hopping on and you're like, I want one of those and I don't have it, you can either click the link um, that we've got posted on this post or on your phone, on like not on Facebook, don't send us a message with this, but actually on your phone, on a text message, you can text the word me to this phone number and it will, it'll prompt you through. It'll say, it'll send you something that you kind of have to click on and put your email address in and it will eventually come to your email address. All right. So I'm just thickening all of this. Now, let me also tell you, if you've got this once and you're like, I want to, I want to practice it some more. If you've got any tracing paper, that is also helpful. Okay. So I'm going to show you one way that you can use tracing paper. I didn't tell anybody to bring tracing paper because it's just a, it's just an optional thing, but you can put that over this. And if you really, if you're like, I like that G, I just want to practice that G. You could do that and move it over and you could practice that G and move it over and practice that G and move it over. Do you see how you do that? So if you wanted extra muscle memory help with this, you could do that. If you want to practice the whole phrase, you can do that too. This uh, tracing paper is excellent for tracing. Imagine that. Um, all right, so here you just see how this works. I'm just showing you this as a way to extend your practice if you are wanting to do this. 
Now, what I want to do first, before I move on to anything else, is, isn't that just fun? You can just, then these are, you know, you get a whole pad of this. If you're not familiar with tracing paper, um, looks like this. You can get a whole pad at um, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, I think even Walmart, maybe. Not real sure about Walmart. Um, uh, Cynthia says, are the watercolor pens still available? Yes, the watercolor set is available. What she's referring to is we had a sale on our watercolors. Um, they're normally 30 and they come with the brush pens. They're $20 over the weekend. If you're watching this in real time, uh, meaning February 14th, uh, then it, you got about two more hours. Uh, the only reason we cut it off at 12 is that's when Kaylee takes it to the post office. So we're, after all the orders get in at 12, we'll pack them all up and take them and ship them out. So um, yes, you still got a couple hours on that uh, if you want to do that. That's just at pizzazzshop.com. All right. So I did this fun little something, something. Uh, and now I want to do a little, little more. I'm going to thicken some of these a little bit more. So <clears throat> yes, they can be traceables. You can also get even fancier with it. So I'm going to take my yellow and I'm going to do a little bit of a drop shadow in a few places. I'm not going to do too much of one, but just a little bit. We go over this a, a lot more slow, like in our lettering club boot camp. Um, but for this morning's sake, I'm just going to kind of add it, add it just right here. Also, I'm not sure, again, if you're watching this in real time, we have got a, um, and what I mean by real time is that this video will live on. So if um, if you can't watch the whole thing, it will be on our YouTube channel, our Facebook page. You can watch it later. So when I say real time, I'm talking about the people are here on here with us live right now. There will be some of you watching this um, long after real time. So um so if you want to join us um, on March 1st, we do have a fun little $10 online workshop coming up where we'll, we'll be doing some painting and lettering. Um, you may have seen that. Uh, I don't even have it right here with me, but it's really, um, it's a very fun picture that's going to look nice in your home. When we went to market this past uh, January, we really looked at the colors that were, um, that were being, you know, all around. Oh, thank you. It was right behind me. Thank you, Kaylee. <laughs> we looked at the, um, the colors that were really in a lot of home decor and we're going to teach you how to mix these, how to letter. Um, um, it's it's going to be a fun little class. So that's coming up March 1st too. All right. So God is with you. I did, uh, I traced it. I did the drop shadow. I've got my, um, I've got my green. What do I want to do? I think I might just do polka dots today. Let's keep it simple on day one. You don't have to do any designs, but if you're like me and like color, it's just fun. Why not? Um, plus, as you will hear us say a bazillion times, it's just adding peace and play into your everyday. It is a stress-free, grab some markers, read God's word, play around with some lettering and some designs, and it's just fun. That's all I got to say. And it doesn't take long. Um, doesn't take a lot of time out of your day. All right, so... So from here, some ideas. You could write down here, give it a shot of lettering it again with your with your marker. Or maybe over here on this page, you might want to do it big and just God is with you. Give it a shot. That's how you're going to grow. You want to trace it. You can trace it over and over and over again if you want to. And then try it on your own. And you're going to see that as, the more you do it, okay, if you are if you are hand lettering and practicing with us for 20 pages, you're going to get better. We have a, um, we had a local lettering class here um, last week and we have a couple of nights this week. And uh, one of the ladies, I promise, I went down and I was like, you've gotten better in two days. And she looked at me and she said, I know. <laughs>
Can you hear me now? Now, now, now. Testing, testing, testing. I just turned a different microphone on. Okay. All right. So, if, yes, I'm back. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. So, sorry about that, y'all. Sorry about that. <laughs> so, that's what happens when I forget. I put my phone on Do Not Disturb. This is the phone. I put it on Do Not Disturb. But you know how it has that setting where, like, like my husband can get through. I should have reminded, remembered you take that off um, because he just called. Um, but that's okay. I'm sure he was just calling with a little a report. My son had a little bit of a sore throat this morning. So I'm, uh, I'm sure he's got a, a report on that. So glad I'm back. Uh, sorry, I lost you for a second. Um, also, let me just say this. While we're, while we're in the middle of having a tech problem, Get on this text list um, if you're not already. Even if you don't want, if you've got the booklet and you don't need to put me, if you're not on our text list, just send the word hey to it because anytime that we have a tech problem, let's say Facebook's down, we know that's happened before. And I'm supposed to be going live and people are looking for me live. I can send you a quick text and say, something's going on. Be back in two hours or something. I can just keep you in the loop better with text um, instead of just depending on these things that sometimes go in and out. So please get on that text list if you're not already. So <clears throat> another thought with um, with this, like I was saying before we got cut off, is you can do the you can do the hand lettering over here. You can do it here. You can do it on a separate sheet of paper. Um, this with the Crayola, it I mean it shows through. There is a difference between bleed through and show through. So it's showing through. But like if I were to get like a Sharpie it would bleed through. Um, so that's all. So this is, it shows through, but it does not bleed through. So another um, thing that you can do, like let's say that you've got your um, your lettering pens. These are smaller tips. Uh, you can also take these. I'm just going to open one. I don't know if you've got like a, um, let's see. You can do it just small. You might just want to practice this with a little bit of a smaller version. So here we go. And on the down strokes, press down a little harder. If you're in the lettering club, you can give this a shot. You've practiced a lot with your lettering. You give it a shot of pressing down on the down strokes, light on the up strokes. Okay. Down, light. Down. And, I'm, and so this is just a smaller pen nib, is, which is why we're not doing this big thing up here. But it's excellent, like um, in, in planners, in journals, in, in most everything, other than this is a, this is a big half page something. So um, these are brush pens that you can get natural thicks and thins based on the pressure that you're doing it. So there is that. I can still maybe kind of put a something around this. Just to kind of to kind of enclose it. And then what I would personally do, I'm not going to do it right here in front of all of y'all, but what I would personally do is with a pen, just a journal a prayer out here, here, wherever. Use this as an interactive, not just a lettering thing, not just a reading thing, but as an interactive time to focus your thoughts. It could even be a bullet point, bullet um, type prayer. So, for example, there are times where there are people that I want to lift up or situations I want to lift up. And it's like this, you know, it's Chloe and I know what I'm thinking about and it's TR and I know what I'm thinking about and it's uh, finances and I know what I'm thinking about, you know, and I can just bullet yeah, I can just bullet journal that and and just give it to God and pray through it like that. So it doesn't have to be a long long paragraph. It could be bullet prayers if you like, but, um, but that's just another way to use, uh, to use this booklet. So, um, starting tomorrow, I won't be explaining so much of how to use it. We are just going to be using it. We are going to be, um, you know, we will be reading another, um, another day. We will be lettering together. We'll be practicing our lettering. We kind of pointing out a few different fun things with it. Um, and I think it should be a good time. So I hope you join us for whenever you can on this little 20 day journey. Um, again, 10 a.m. Central time. And if you can't catch us, 
we will uh, this will stay in the group um, as a as a replay. So that is it for today. I hope y'all have an excellent day. Again, if you don't have this booklet, here it is. Um, and if you are interested in signing up for our challenge <laughs> or our workshop, um, this is all online. You've got to go get your own supplies. But really, the only supplies is something to paint on. I got this at Hobby Lobby. Something to paint with paints and brushes. Um, and I used a Posca pen for this, just a paint pen, any kind of white paint pen. So there's a few other little things that are optional, but those are the big things. So if you want to do that, let us know. We can send you the link. And that's it for today. We will see you tomorrow. See you. See ya.